back at the compound. I haven't been up here for a while. Had a few little alterations done in the last uh, couple of weeks. I had Jasper Flashman come in and help with the machine and make it all look nice and tidy. So like all the side of the landings are all like machined in and it looks sick now. Like that's landing, first landing's wider, second landing's wider as well. And we made the drop landing so much bigger. So before you like dropped onto the landing, then there's like onto a pad and you went out for about 20 feet and then dropped down again into the first takeoff. And now we've got rid of that. So it's this year straight running all the way into the first takeoff. You can see there. But yeah, then it's just gonna be so much nicer. There's no like over jump, like oh, over jump, it like airing off the pad into the takeoff, which is really scary. Um, and we built this extra section here. So I'm gonna build a boner log off that bit somewhere into the other landing as well. So we have two lines, which would be sick. But I just can't get over how big that landing is now. It's massive. It's almost crankwork size, but the gap's just not as big. But it is absolutely monstrous. It's brilliant. Um, I'll put the camera down and you can see the perspective quickly. Um, hopefully that'll be really soon because I want to ride it. This sounds insane. But the biggest thing I've added to the compound, you probably can see what it is from the thumbnail to be fair, but it is absolutely massive. And probably the best thing I've ever bought, the most expensive thing I've probably ever bought as well to be fair. Because I am a cheap ass. <laughs> but I have bought for myself one absolutely massive airbag. I bought myself an airbag landing, pointlessly big. It's eight and a half meters wide, four and a half meters tall, 16 meters long, it's absolutely massive. Um, Harry Campbell's here with me as well riding. Harry, hit the jump. Yeah. And I built the most ghetto rolling, which is like a 12 year old built a tree house. It is brilliant. But yeah, I had a few few generator issues when I got, got here because my jenny broke so I had to go red one for the day which is a bit annoying but I've got a jenny that works now for the weekend but yeah look at the size of it it's a bit of a step up the minute because that's just a ramp I had kicking about it was actually at the track for a few years so I bought it here um, I'm going to build another one I think it's a little bit of a step up but the rolling is very ghetto but it works so I'm not that fussed how are you doing front flip? <laughs> What's it like to crash on? Huh? What was it like to crash though? Buttery smooth. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna chuck the GoPro. I wanna do some GoPro runs on it. But yeah, I'm over the moon. This thing's insane. Tires are a bit wet. Could make it a bit more interesting. <laughs> Oh, he keeps moving around because he's fat as well. But let's try to do something cool. Big bone. <laughs> That was an accident. <laughs> yeah. Ow. <laughs> well, that didn't go to plan. Definitely not meant to ride out the Ryan Nyquist for backwards bars. <laughs> Glad I rode out though. Oh, that's scary. So that lasted long before someone hurt themselves. Like fifth run, Harry's managed to carve off the side of the airbag and land on other rocks. How is that possible? I gave him an eight and a half meter wide landing and he misses it. Only Harry Campbell. I'm gonna try and get redemption on the double bar. 
So I don't do one and a half again. <sighs> well, that didn't work. <laughs> That's annoying, I just snapped the GoPro mount off my helmet. So I'm going to try and find another GoPro mount in the car. I think I've got one somewhere kicking about. Let's have a look. Oh. Got caught on my knee again. <laughs> Driving. I'm over that nice. Oh, I got whiplash. Oh. Well, I can't do that trick at a skate park first go at the moment, but then I come in and I can't do it. Useless. So I bought this airbag direct from China. So, for everyone who says that the Chinese ones are going to be crap, this thing's insane. It's as good as anyone I've ever ridden. It's a little bit slippier, but. Why would you want to grip when you want to slide? So it's just insane, saying this thing. Um, definitely want to build a bigger takeoff and potentially drag it a little bit further down the hill to a bit more of a, a bit more flat so you might be able to get a pedal in because it's a little bit quick. Or build the, the tower a bit taller. Don't know yet. Learning curve, learning curve, but this thing's insane. It took them like they had a month to build it in China. One solid month, and then they had and then they just shipped it from China straight to Southampton and they got it shipped to the to Cornwall. Um, but I was amazed. It was, at, it was at my house, packed in two months from first payments then, which is insane. It's the other side of the world and this thing's massive. We had 650 kilos. Yeah, pointlessly big. But yeah, all right, do some more tricks, stop talking. Trying to get as much speed as I can. It's a little bit short, but. Make it work. Just got to be a man about it. So there's like three or four tricks I've never really been able to cross over from BMX to the big bike. And they're like actually really annoying tricks, so I used to absolutely love them. Like three no handers I really struggle with. I've never done like a proper, oh, I've done one regular 720. Um, but yeah, it just doesn't really work. I don't know why. I think it's just the bigger wheels are just messing with me a bit. But I'm gonna try a regular seven there and see how that gets on. Right, try and spin a reggae seven. Right. Oh! oh. <laughs> Came round. Uh, try three whip. I'm gonna three whip for a long time. It's a rarity for me, this trick. It's one of the other tricks I struggle with from BMX actually. It's three whip. As I'm here and I've got all the tools, I'm going to try and fix that kink quickly. Shouldn't take me too long. Uh, I'm going to try some more stuff. Hopefully it helps the speed. It's a little bit slow, but I'm still stoked. It's insane. I'm well happy with this setup.
I was going for three boards. I think one's going to work there, that makes more sense. But yeah, it's a proper ghetto rolling. Like the this section here bounces when you ride up it, ride down it, which is quite funny. But yeah, just going to do that. Screw that one in. Screw that one in just to get get rid of a bit of the aggressive transition. But hopefully that should make it a nice smoother ride. The other thing I want to do is I want to get some people down to come ride with me. Who would you like to see ride my compound, my main line, the airbag? Go down and ride Woody's and like Old Hill Bike Park. Like there's loads around here to ride. Who do you want to see come down and ride with me? Uh, leave a comment below and uh, I'll see if we can make it happen. But yeah. It's all packed away. I put a big tarp over it just to try and keep it from getting covered in leaves and then rotting down and it just looks horrible. Like I see Pilgrim's one just keeps getting covered. Like Sam's is absolutely covered in mud and it's disgusting. I saw videos of Matt's getting covered in sand from everything blowing onto it. So I thought buy a tarp, cover it up and then it should be easier. Especially when it like rains. If I want to come out the day after it's rained, I can just peel this off and it's dry underneath. So I just thought it would be a good idea. Oh yeah, I'm going to call that day and head home and uh, de-pad and get ready for the next day's adventures. Catch you in a bit. Peace.